Okay, as you can see, we are now ready for the concrete. We've tidied everything up and we'll start. 35 mil down from the damp course, down is the finished floor level because you have your under, water, under floor heating. So you have to think where your top floor is coming. And so we've got it on plan that we're coming down 35 mil from the damp course. And so we're putting a mark on the wall. So we know where our finished floor level is. So we've got so much MOT, that's blind crushed stone. Then we've got five inch of uh, uh, insulation. insulation and then four inch of concrete. And the concrete's to finish there. So there we go, we can level off all that's all levels now. So what we do, we just put piles and then we drag it out with the brake. Okay, putting the first layer of viscoin in. Yeah. And then it's the insulation on top of that, which is 100 mil, as you can see. 100 mil, 1000 mil gauge viscoin, and then this goes in, and then viscoin on top. As the guys are putting it in now on a two inch sand blinding on four inch hardcore. All whackered down, as we showed you. Now we put the four inch insulation in and the two inch upstand insulation and then we covered that with polythene again as you can see here and we fold the sides in as I show you. What we do, we fold the corners in like this, give you a nice tight corner, fold it over and put a brick on it like that. Okay, this is where we're at now. Do that on all your corners. Let's strip down here, have stands on there boys. Okay, now it's time for the oversight concrete to be poured in. And this is what we do. We have to bring it round in barrows. I level the sides with a level, an old level I use, not a brand new one. And then we uh, tamp around the sides and then we fill the middle in. You can use a long plank with a level on the middle like we did in the footings and tamp it, but I haven't got a long plank. Uh, we use them all up. And so this is the way I was doing it, as you can see here. And after we've done this, it's time for the troweling up. Okay, what we're we doing, Chris? Okay, it's just gone off pretty well now. What we're doing, we get the old uh, float, plastic float, or some people call it a deviling tool. What this does, it roughs it, fills in all the gaps, fills in all the ruts. And then what we do with the truck with the smoothie trail, we just go like that. Like 
Yeah. Just, just like the trowelling now, perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we get the ruts like that, and this will rough it round and bring it brings the grout to the top. Brilliant. So it, it just wetens the cement as it as it goes over the top, doesn't it? Pardon? Brings all the wet cement yes. to the top, fills all the gaps, yeah. and then we trowel it off then. So yeah, fantastic. So you can see the rest of the slab. Yeah. Okay, Matthew just yeah. finishing the bottom. So. A lot of you critics out there might wonder why we're doing a finished floor, uh, even though we're below uh, finished floor level on the oversight, just to make it easier for the guys putting the underfloor heating on, okay? So uh, there you go. Okay, thanks for joining us. Fantastic. And uh, they're the most important job of the day. Chris is putting the kettle on. Thank you, Chris. Ta -da. Still in training. Yeah, still in training. End of the day. That's the job done. Catch you in the superstructure.